we are at the 56th annual Grammy Awards doing a backstage tour of all technical areas that involve the Grammys from lighting to sound to video to backline to all the band's equipment, uh, the risers, uh, everything you can think of that is involved. You are going to get a glimpse of this. You don't ever get to see this when you're, when you're on TV. All you get to see is the artist. You never get to see what really happens backstage. So you're going to get a nice glimpse of what's really happening backstage. It's going to be really cool. I'm very excited. I hope you are too. I am here with Mick Kozowski, legendary uh, engineer, producer. Uh, Mick, nice to see you. Thank you for being here. Nice to see you. Thank you. Uh, what is your job here tonight at the uh, Grammys? I oh, just got uh, consulting on the mix for Daft Punk's live performance. And oh, cool, Daft Punk. Cool. Yeah. And what have you done? How many times have you done the Grammys uh, previously? Um, I've worked it once before. Or I've been here a few times. Yeah. One of, yeah. one of, you know, a couple Grammys and a few Latin Grammys. And How did you get the gig for Daft Punk? How did you get that phone call? That must have been a nice one. Oh, it's great to hear. Yeah, it was uh, Chris Caswell, the keyboard player on the record. Him and I go back a long time. We've worked together a lot, and they were looking for an engineer who had experience with um, um, acoustic kind of dance music back uh, you know, in the 80s and also um, uh, who's still working, works with modern, uh, modern records also. Cool. Uh, so they wanted someone whose experience spanned a few de decades of music. And um, so he recommended me and they looked me up. And next Well, thing man, you're legendary. You're, you're worldwide. Everybody knows who you are. And you've done some really cool things. I'm sure you have many plaques on your wall. Quite, yeah, quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> what is your uh, favorite project you've ever done? In your career, I know that's hard. That's a very that's a very hard question. I mean, give me your top. Give me your top two. Um, well, it's, that's even very hard. I mean, right now, I love the Daft Punk record. I mean, it's very successful. It was a lot of fun to work on. And that's a good plug. Yeah, and it's a, it was, you know, <laughs> so I got to say, now it is. I'm, if it's a good project, usually what I'm working on currently becomes right. my favorite. Right. But but yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of nice projects. I've had done some really nice projects with Eric Clapton, the Back Home album. I had a lot of, you know, that was a very nice experience. Uh, worked on a Stanley Clark album back in the 80s. It was just a lot of fun. And, That's pretty uh, amazing right there. Those names you just mentioned are legendary people. And yeah, the, in the begin, beginning when I was just starting out, I uh, worked with Chuck Mangione and uh, his first big hit. So that was super exciting for me because I never worked on an actual record before. So. Wow. So, I mean, yeah, so I've had a lot of points in my career that have just been fun. Just in general, it's fun. I still love doing it after all, this, all these years. Well, we're glad to have you. Thank you for doing the interview. Hi, Billy Flores, backstage at the Grammys with our front of house mixer who mixes for uh, the audience, who everybody comes into the, the show. Uh, his name is uh, Ron Reeves. Ron, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Can you tell me a little bit about how the Grammys have been going for you? Uh, it's going well this year. We've had a lot more last-minute input list changes, which always okay. kind of throws us a little curve. But so far, so good. How many inputs are you running in front of house? I land 168. Uh, I've got access to about 400. And you're using a digital SD7. SD7, yes. And then your other mixer. There's two mixers on this on this front of house. Like there's two mixers at monitor position. So the other board is an uh, SD10. SD10. Cool. What has uh, happened here in the rehearsals that's gone really well or gone really bad? Uh, <laughs> well, it's questions. all gone really well, Billy. Yeah, good. <laughs> well, we just saw a Daft Punk. That was pretty cool. You were mixing that. Yeah, it sounded yeah. great. Thank it sounded you awesome. How, how, you know what? When you start with that good of source sounds, when you get that good of musicians, it's hard to screw it up. Yeah, I mean Stevie Wonder. Yeah. You know, come on. Yeah. I mean Nathan East. Nathan East. Hakeem, yeah. You know. Yeah. How do you mess that up? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> how many years have you been doing the Grammys? This is year twelve. You're 12, and wow. I'm the new guy. Most of the other guys on the audio crew have been here 20 some odd years. And just for the record, what's the other engineer's name who's doing it? Michael Stewart. Michael Stewart, He's cool. He's also one of the principals in ATK, which is our vendor, our audio vendor for this. So how many, does a digital have plugins like the profile does as well, or is it is it all processing racks? It has plugins available. You can run Waves plugins with it. I don't, right. simply because I didn't want to add another layer of complexity, and I think what's built into the console sounds great. Yeah. And who are you mixing next tonight for rehearsal? Metallica. Oh, great. Yeah. I'll have to stick around for that. They'll let me stay. Get your earplugs out. Right, man. <laughs> Thanks very much for giving me your time. My Appreciate pleasure. it, man. Anytime.